Was not. I heard something. Well, I didn't hear anything. Just be quiet, huh? Mr. Stone, I bet I know what it was. What? The wind's been blowing a lot stronger. Maybe something else on the terrace blew over. Maybe. You want me to check? No, I want you to stay right there. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it was just the wind. She can't last much longer. Please don't say that. Vivian. All right, it's time to take her into the bedroom. No! Shut up! Mrs. Yeah. Bancroft! Pick it up. Very slowly. Now you wrap it around this water glass. And you take it into the bedroom and come right back. Where should I put it? On the nightstand by the bed. Hurry up, Vivian. I'm going to give you five seconds. Oh, Money can't buy you everything, can it, Iris? You're used to getting your own way, but it's my turn. Poor little rich girl. Meets her tragic. All right, I'm back. Here's right. your handkerchief. You just keep it. You go over here and you use it to pick up Mrs. Bancroft's suicide. Come on. That's right. All right, now, put these pills in the handkerchief. And you go put it next to the glass of water. Come on. I wonder how many people are going to grieve for you, Iris. I'm not going to. And I'll bet June won't either. There, you stay there. Now you go back and you wait by the bedroom door. And don't you try anything. No, no. There must have been another bottle of pills. What are you talking about? I don't buy Mrs. Bancroft to stop. Vivian, shut up. Stop crying. I can't. Vivian! All right, now you go into the bedroom. You be quick about it. Move. First part of another world is brought to you by Gleam Fluoride, toothpaste for the adult mouth. Protects your breath while it fluorides your teeth. Why don't you do something? We're doing everything we can. I can't stand this waiting. Take it easy, June. Shouldn't be long now. Anything new with Larry? Nothing. Are you all right? Yes. Any news, Scott? I've been downstairs with Lieutenant Marlowe, Mac. Uh, we do have. The front entrance surrounded, all of the service entrances surrounded, and sharpshooters up on the roof. Sharpshooters? Yeah. Did you order a, the ambulance? 
Yes, the uh, medic's downstairs now. They're waiting one floor below us. Is Calvin in the hall covering it still? Yeah, he's out there with Johnson right now. It sounds like we got everything covered. Matt, what is going on? We're pretty sure that Jeff Stone killed Kirk. Yeah, but what is all this talk about ambulances and sharpshooters and... Scott didn't fill you in? No, he said you would. I, it was all I could do to talk him into letting me come in here. Janice, Iris's life may be in danger. I know Brian mentioned that before, and I've been beside myself. Where is she? She's in her suite. We think that Jeff is holding her and Vivian hostage there. What? Yes, you see, apparently they stumbled on evidence that proves that Jeff killed Kirk. What kind of evidence? It's the ribbon cartridge from Kirk's typewriter. Kirk may have been typing Jeff's name just before he died. But you're not sure? No, this is what uh, Brian and Scott have pieced together. I see. So, so Jeff is holding Vivian and Iris to keep them from talking? Yes, that's right. And since his gun is missing from his room, he may be prepared to use it on them. Oh, Mac, how can you possibly think he can get away with that? Well, he doesn't know this is going on, that we are here. You mean Jeff isn't holding Vivian and Iris to bargain for his freedom? No, no, and I hope it doesn't come to that because Scott won't give him a deal. Oh, poor Iris. We're hoping we can rescue her before Jeff knows what's going on. How? You see that air conditioning uh, vent there? That oh. connects with ducts that go all through the building. Larry Ewing is in there now, trying to find Iris's apartment. You think he can do that? We don't know. Well, how long has he been in there? He's been in there almost an hour. Oh, dear, Mac, I hope he's not lost. He's tapped out signals that indicate he doesn't know where he is. Oh, I hope he is lost. Why but is Jeff's this woman there? still here? Come on, lady, back on the couch. You want to kill him? I hope they do before he kills us. You don't understand. Well, I don't understand that Jeff murdered your husband. But I don't want to lose them both. Joan, you may already have. Please, God, let me talk to him. Let me reason with him. But you don't reason with a man with a gun. But he might listen to me. Yes. Scott, Scott, wait a minute. Let me, let me take care of her, okay? All right, but you're going to have to keep her quiet. Janice, I'm not sure you should be. No, I'll go downstairs just as soon as she's calmed down, all right? Come on, June, sit down. Listen, come on. Try not to panic, huh? Why? Why do Why? Try not to panic. That way maybe Jeff will catch you Why do I alive. love men who are why, like Kirk and Jeff? Why? Why? Wait, I can't answer that. I've always loved men who are no good. What is it about them that attracts me? Listen, um, are you sure you're going to be all right now? You're a woman. You must understand what it's like to be drawn to beautiful men. Men who only want power. It doesn't matter who gets hurt. Mac? You want to go back to suite? Yes, yes, I think I better. All right. Think you'll be all right alone? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, just, just let me know what happens. Oh, Jeff. Jeff, why didn't you tell me what you were planning to do? Why didn't you confide in me? I would have, I would have left Kirk. I loved you. I loved you. Janice, are you all right? Hmm? You all right? Oh, yeah, yes, yes, it's nothing. I think I should go back to Amanda. She's a sound sleeper, isn't she? Yes, usually. Well, then? Well, thank goodness for hurricane lamps. I lit the one in the nursery. Well, if she wakes up, she won't be frightened. I almost brought her down here with me. She's probably more comfortable in her own bed. If she stays warm enough. Well, put another blanket on her. She should be fine. I did. I put a comforter on her. I guess I'll go back and, and check on her in a few minutes. Well, in the meantime, why don't you stay here? Fire feels good. Why don't you join me? Good thing we didn't go out to town this evening. Yeah, it is. I hope you can get back tomorrow. You're that eager for me to leave? No, but you said you had to get back to the disco. It's not important now. 
I thought the disco was always important. Not when I'm trying to keep warm, no. The will to survive, is that it? Something like that, yeah. You're not afraid, are you? Not of surviving. Good. Have you ever been? Afraid. Of what? Whatever. Well, I try not to do dangerous things. Uh, I'm not talking about physical things. Yes, I've been afraid. What made you afraid? Things I've done. Such as? Things. Illegal things? No, not illegal things. Hmm. They weren't worth it. Surprised you don't know. Some people in this town be only too happy to tell you. Well, what would they say? Ask them. I'm asking you. What were they? Anything to do with the man? Let's just say I went out for things that I wanted and I didn't care who got hurt. You still go after what you want? Yes. But I don't hurt people. So you've changed? Yes. I don't think people change that way. Sure they do. Well, they might change what they go after and what they're willing to do to get it. You're cynical, aren't you? I'm realistic. In fact, I think you'd probably still go after what you want if it came to that. I think we've talked enough about me. No, 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 no. We just got started. Well, let's stop. No place to go. Well, then we've got all this time to talk about you. You were curious about me? Yeah. But you don't like to talk about yourself? Not particularly, no. Why not? People probably ask you questions. What kinds of questions? What you do, what you're after, hold what it, you... Hold it. You want to answer them one at a time? I prefer not to answer any of them ever. Why not? Because I'm not into talking about myself. Not even to satisfy my curiosity? It wouldn't satisfy your curiosity. I see you like to be mysterious. What I am is what I am. You born in a disco? <laughs> Not unless the hospitals have changed a lot since then, no. How'd you get into this line of work? You don't stop, do you? What are you going to do in five years? I don't think about it. Oh, I don't believe that. Believe what you like. I think you think about the future a lot more than you let on. You're wrong. Why are you getting so touchy, then? Because you don't know me well enough to say that. And you're doing your darndest to make sure I don't find out anything, aren't you? I take it a day at a time. Don't look behind, don't look ahead. Everybody looks behind just to measure how far they've come. Not everybody. And everybody looks ahead, they can't resist it. That's everybody. It's not me. Then you like to be secretive. You like to push, don't you? I just like real questions and answers to the questions. Then let's just change the subject. Then let's change the subject. What are you trying to avoid? Topic of conversation. I bet you're selfish. Maybe. You don't mind admitting that? Let's just say we all have a self-image. So, go on. I see myself one way. You probably see me differently. You don't know how I see you. I have an idea from the questions you ask. I don't like it. 